German priests protest Vatican decree by blessing queer couples. So, dozens of priests in Germany are protesting against the Vatican with plans to live stream blessings of homosexual couples. The movement comes after Pope Francis announced that Catholic, pri Catholic priests could not bless same-sex unions because, uh, quote, God does not bless sin. The groups in Germany have voiced their criticism of the Vatican's opinion. A statement titled, Love Wins, or actually whatever, however you say that in German, <laughs> um, was signed by Catholic theology professors in the country protesting the decision. Uh, priests are now coming forth to show their support for same-sex couples. The priests involved have also published a list of upcoming church services to bless couples, uh, gay or same-sex couples publicly. Since many of the events will occur across the country on or around May 10th, they will be live streamed. So actually, they were live streamed. Um, the priests have been praised by supporters of same-sex relationships for their decision to challenge Pope Francis's stance. I mean, isn't the point of the isn't following the Pope within the definition of being catholic like are yes. you are you still like like oh we're catholics and we're gonna defy the pope but um i mean yeah are you a catholic i mean here's a, here's a hint here's a hint okay hold on here's a hint so you're telling me that you are protesting against the pope protesting that reminds me of something protesting, ah! protesting. Gets flashbacks to the reformation hmm. Hmm. i mean are you like honestly like isn't that like like within their dogma that they're by definition they're supposed to be the followers of the pope i don't understand somebody mm -hmm. explain this to me rivka you're muted rivka muted rivka your audio is not there isn't he so also supposed to be infallible he's god's yeah. messenger on earth yeah i'm hearing echo Do me we... too yeah susie your ideal uh, your our idea is very high so you need to stop yes um so that whole... yeah go on i i was gonna say are they gonna perform a 99 ceremonies and mar nail the marriage licenses to the church door <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, like... yes so i mean he is supposed to be god's messenger on earth and he is apparently supposed to be infallible except for what they don't think he's infallible about. Hmm. Well, it's actually, it's interesting because um, Pope Francis's previous statements, specifically regarding same-sex uh, marriage or civil unions or couples in general, like, I feel, I don't know if this is a fact, but I feel like he's talked more about same-sex relationships like than any other priest before. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Kali, you know, like me, then that means that you probably want more blasphemous art. Well, I have good news for you. If you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below, then you get a free booklet of some of the tastiest blasphemous art available today. So if you want some of this delicious blasphemy, and we're so generous that we update it for you guys weekly for free all you have to do is sign up for our newsletter below uh you can also go to blasphemousart.com slash ebook that's blasphemousart.com slash ebook sign up with your email and you get free gifts of this tasty blasphemy what could be better so make sure you sign up link below at least in my awareness um and some of his statements that he said previously are very controversial to the point that um they other cardinals and bishops have had to try to make apolog like these apologetics for his infallibility but also these statements he's making which seem to go against like long-standing dogma so they have all of these ways that they phrase it where it's like well he's supposed to be infallible like in his I can't remember what it was exactly, but his decisions regarding the church, but like him as a person is fallible. So like kind of trying to is say, like, his, his hippie pokeness, 
his hippie popeness is not always infallible. Yeah. You know, but I thought this was really funny, like really similar to what Armin was saying, like by what by what authority are you are you doing this? By what what scriptural authority? Like he's the Pope. He is the, literally the authority. So yeah, according to their dumb. So they're by their own authority, which right then and there tells you, like, so then why are you Catholic? Yeah. Because you're supposed to be following Pope, Popey yeah. Pope. So I, I actually um, have another thing I want to say. This is not going to be popular, but I also want to criticize um, the LGBT couples who are going along with this, giving legitimacy to anything labeled as Catholic or Christian, right? So this all sounds like, oh my God, look, yay, these priests are like doing um, gay weddings and stuff. This is progress and stuff. I mean, yeah, congratulations to some priests. Apparently we're giving out cookies for not being bigots and homophobes these days. Like. This doesn't deserve congratulations. Like, hey, yay, you're not a homophobe. Here's a cookie. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, this is like maybe some progress for these priests. However, for the for the gay couples, they this is not progress for them. They they are legitimizing and giving promotion for an institution that has been historically and even now against not just their rights but their entire existence so and their identity and their happiness so don't do that i mean i'm against it i know like some people think like oh i mean no this is like you're criticizing the wrong people no i'm i'm no. against it i don't care i don't care if you're gay or straight if you legitimize the catholic church in any way you, if you take part in these if you let a priest, a Catholic priest, um, do a live stream on your gay couple, you're excusing an institution that doesn't deserve any protection or any excuse for justification for their existence. This is a this whole institution needs to be destroyed and you know crushed and annihilated. And you guys are keeping it relevant. So no, don't do that. Sorry, gay couples. Uh, I hope these gay couples join other gay people who have completely abandoned the church. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's a very good point. Um, but also, um, I think I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually a little bit of marketing. Of course, it's marketing from the, or at least these specific churches or these specific dioceses. Um, because I also know that the German church is going through a huge scandal right now uh, uh, over uh, a lawsuit that happened recently because um, nuns were, how can I say this for you two? Um, nuns were selling children to adult men. Um, and so I feel like this is like, I don't, maybe I'm being too cynical, but like this feels Actually, like Actually, I distraction. agree with you. I I agree with you about the marketing because it's for them, maybe, you know, it's a specific thing related to the scandal, but where I live, all these churches have signs, rainbow flags, you know, you can come here We're you know, we don't hate you kind of um, advertising. And I feel like the churches are looking for, people because they don't have the numbers that they used to have and mm -hmm. very often when people are not afforded equal rights and there's no equity in really basic things you know marriage um voting going to school all these things that they once they're given that they sometimes seem to very much follow the mainstream like all of a sudden they're like okay now we can get married so now we go to church and now we're gonna you know have the you know happy family consuming many goods and or 
whatever that is, you know, now all of a sudden you're allowed to go to, they can't exclude people on their gender. So now you have women, you know, wanting to be in all these, not maybe they want to, but it's also sort of taking some of that for yourself that you, you feel like you were cheated of. And I think the church understands that if people are getting married now. And marriage has a lot to do often for most people with religiosity, especially once they have kids. They're shopping for customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think especially in a country as secular and modern as Germany, like they're trying to fall back onto certain cultural aspects of it, of what's familiar and seen as like a rite of passage for a lot of people. Um, which like culturally I understand. Um, but um, are there any comments in live chat that you want to highlight, Armin? Yes, I want to attack our own community. Um, <laughs> no, don't put it uh, that way. <laughs> okay, so Ghostman is saying, Armin, we still need to encourage the, uh, a step forward regardless of how small they are going against the Pope is a huge thing, I'm assuming, and may lead to more revolts within the church. Um, yeah, I agree that we should um, have uh, step forwards even if they're small. And that's why I'm against this, because I think this is a step backward. Um, having gay couples endorsing the brand, uh, the Catholic brand, is a step backwards, and that's why I'm against it. Um, but yeah, I'm agree I agree with um, small steps if in the right direction. They don't have to big steps, but I'm against this because this is not a step forward. Uh, Gajian, yeah, guys, you don't understand. I've seen this so many times before. This is a desperate attempt for religions to, this is a defense mechanism against pressure. But that's th these defense mechanisms, these religions and their influence will die out faster. This is not a good thing. This is, ba this is a bad thing. <clears throat> so Gaijian, American saying, it's not about legitimizing the Catholic Church. It, 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 com it completely is. No, no, no. I, it, it is exactly about legitimizing the Catholic Church. You, you got it wrong in the first sentence. Uh, the Catholic Church is about snapping the head of the Pope and taking his power for yourself. Then it's completely, not the Catholic no, Church. <laughs> no, no, this is completely wrong. This is exactly is the unpopularity of the position of the Pope the, is exactly the opposite of what Gaijin American is saying. Because the unpopularity of this position in mainstream, you want to say you want you realize that associating your the Catholic brand with that, this is an attempt to the desperate attempt to see if it's possible to maintain the Catholic brand without be, without associating it with this unpopular position that the Pope is getting. This is a defense of the Catholic brand, and you should not let the Catholic brand be defended. There is no excuse for defending the Catholic brand, okay? Um, and here's an interesting take. This is amazing. Asian American is saying, you sound like the CCPR men. Amazing. That's fantastic. Wow. All right. Yeah, sure. I... Me, I, I'm uh, me uh, going against the Catholic Church sounds like the CCP, guys. How dumb do you have to be to not see that the way I want to attack the Catholic Church is by advocating against it? It involves no force. It doesn't in involve destroying churches or forcing people to not practice their belief. It's about conversations. It's about promoting certain ideas over others. Is the CCP? fighting against Islam and Christianity by trying to promote ideas that are better than Islam and Christianity? Or are they shutting down mosques and churches and putting people in concentration camps? That is an absolutely insane comparison. And I know, guys, and you can see that I am, Gajian American is a patron of us. <laughs> and I, I, I but, but I don't know. I, you know, even people who support us financially. When I see dumb takes like this, I have to call it out. All um, right. One, two more things I wanted to highlight. Um, Rabbit is saying churches oh. are losing. No, hi, sorry, I missed it. Go. Uh, churches are losing numbers, so sins get redefined to get more people in. A sign of the end for them. Rip is correct. Rabbit atheist is also correct. Like in 2020, they were giving out plenary indulgences at this Urbi at Orbi event. And I was like, what? You're just giving, oh, we're just giving out because because it, it's the pandemic. We're just giving out plenary. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. And then there was also, this is hilarious from Aditya. Me, when Armin says I will criticize our own community. <laughs> and then running <laughs> smoke emojis. <laughs> All right, well, um, here's another one. I disagree with Armin. I fully support the LGBT. Wow, congratulations. You're not a homophobe. Uh, couples and their normalization society. If Christians accept a more 
Christianity will become the most LGBT friendly religion. Um, I want Christianity to end. I don't want it to become the most LGBT friendly religion. Christianity will never be a. This is a. This is an. This is um, ins insanity. Okay, Christianity will never be LGBT friendly. Christians will be Christians will mm -hmm. be LGBT friendly by ignoring Christianity. Christianity, Islam, Judaism. They will always be anti LGBT. There is no hope for them. Christians and Muslims can be more LGBT by ignoring their religion. Their religion will always be against LGBT. Let me see what some other. And uh, Marim is also a Christian, so. I know, I know. That's why I target her more. Or him. <laughs> him, him. Um, wait, hold on. There was another thing. I think there was a. Katie has a good point. But um, goddess know. Katie, Catholicism, Germany, please have mercy on me. I'm about to die. I will start harming, <laughs> I will stop harming people in any way. And then the moment you let your guard down, there will be a dagger right up your throat. <laughs> right. So here's another thing Gaijin American is saying, I was talking about you saying the Catholic Church needs to be annihilated. Yes, and I stand by it. That is not at all that I, that is not at all like the CCP. How do you not get that? There's a, there's a difference between destroying an institution by talking against it and telling people what it stands for and advocating against it and somebody actually going out and crushing down people's buildings and forcing people not to practice their ideas. How do you not see the difference? If you don't see the difference, honestly, I don't know what if there's any hope for you. Like, oh yeah, I sound, I, I sound like the CCP because I want to destroy the Catholic Church by telling people what it stands for and what its purpose is. Mm -hmm. Do you see that as similar? to a government forcing people out of their churches? Do you see not one of them is like, hey, people, this is the Catholic Church. That's how I want to anno annihilate the Catholic Church. The other one, I'm like, oh, hey, this is the church you go to? I will destroy it. Oh, here's your, I'm going to take your Bibles away. I'm not going to let you pray. Do you not see the difference between these two things? Hey, guys, YouTube has fully demonetized our channel for supposedly hateful and harmful conduct. Um, without telling us what we did wrong. Um, if we get to 1,000 patrons, we will be able to keep paying all our team, our editors, our artists, without ever having to worry about monetization again, which would be amazing. Yay! So please support Atheist Republic on Patreon. Link in the description below.